Praise God. I just want to share the word of God with you that's been deposited in my spirit. I want to share the word of God with you out of the book of Amos. Um, I'll begin to read the book of Amos today about how God had a remnant. And um, I begin to read how um, Israel was in a place of apostasy. And they were in a place of uh, pagan religion and idols and uh, they were not faithful to the Lord. And um, I began to reflect on when God blessed Israel with the land flowing with milk and honey. And he uh, blessed them with that promised land. They came into a covenant relationship and an agreement um, that if they would walk in his ways and his statues, he would bless them. And they would be blessed going in, blessed going out, blessed in the city, blessed in the field. They'd be the lender and not the borrower. But if they failed from walking in his ways and his statues and loving the Lord their God with all their heart, mind, soul, and strength, and they began to uh, break those covenants, break those marriage vows to the Lord, that they would fall under a cursing. And the word of God declares in Proverbs and in Hebrews, whom the Lord loves, the Lord corrects, as a natural father corrects his children. And uh, if the Lord don't correct you, he don't know you, you're not his. And so um, the Lord visited Amos, and he was a um, just a common man, a, a poor man. He was a fig farmer. Uh, grow, growing figs in the vineyards and the Lord appears to him and the Lord commissions and calls him to go and and tell Israel uh, to that they were going to be facing judgment to give them the word of the Lord and so um, this God raises Amos up to go speak the word of the Lord to them and uh, so this was a message for them right before, uh, you know, they went into exile. And it was a warning. And before judgment comes, God will raise up a mouthpiece. And he has a remnant in the earth that's declaring the word of God. That's uh, warning souls and warning uh, souls to come to God and to be his ambassador. As the Apostle Paul said in Corinthians, that we are his ambassadors to bid the lost to come back to God. That we're like the parable uh, in the wedding where Jesus said that the, the the feast was ready and to go out into the wedding and bid people to come. We're to bid people to come. And so uh, we are, uh, God has a people in the earth. He has a remnant and he has a, a voice in the wilderness, just like John the Baptist crying out. So. God visits Amos and he goes and gives them this word and but he has this encounter with God and he has this vision and but in the word of God in this time of, of um, apostasy and the hypocrisy of of some of them there in Israel. He says uh, it's a call for repentance and repentance is change and turn and turning from sin. <clears throat> and it's more than saying, I'm sorry, it's transformation. So before judgment comes, God is a merciful God and he gives a call of repentance. And, and that's the body of Christ's job right now. If you're blood bought and born again, <clears throat> excuse me. Child of God, you should be an ambassador for Christ. You ought to be a uh, bit in the lost to come back to God. You ought to be the salt of the earth. A city set on a hill cannot be hid. You ought to shine for Jesus and be uh, a light on your job <coughs> to your community, your children, your family. Uh, it, maybe you are don't have a a position in the church but you can minister to your wife or you can minister uh, to your husband you can minister uh, to your children uh, i know i got brothers and sisters that get on and watch this if you're a brother you can minister to your wife and children if you're a sister you can minister to, to your husband and your children you can minister uh, to the people in your family your community on your job ministry starts at home and uh and uh I want to encourage you to pray for lost souls and invite people to church. God um, ha can use you to to be a witness. And so uh, this call of repentance is going out through the earth. And uh, it did here in Amos's day. And it re reminds me of the Asbury College that uh, it's a it's a it's um, 
a revival of prayer and repentance that a lot of these colleges are repenting of their sins and they're hungry for God and they're crying out <clears throat> in a in prayer burst revival and so there's a call of repentance going throughout the earth and a call of prayer. And God wants to use you as an ambassador as he used Amos. So I love this word of the Lord. Um, it says, seek me and live. How many know that the wages of sin is death, and, but the gift of God is eternal life? And Jesus said, I am the life the way the I am the way the truth and the and that he's the only way and he said I am the resurrection and the life and it says seek me and live and but it and then he begins to tell them about their idols and about uh how they will go into captivity and he tells begins to warn them and how many know that there's a lot of idolatry in the church that there's a lot of a lot of idolatry in the church there's a lot of of uh things in the church world that people put before God and how they're not sincere with their worship and they're not a lot of lukewarm and lethargic people a lot of sleeping people in some of these churches there is a remnant and there are men and women that have not bowed a knee in this hour but I want to encourage you to, to pray for God to move across this earth. And then as he begins to warn of, of the judgment, he says that he made the Orion. He turns the shadows of death into morning. He makes the dark as night and he calls the waters of the sea and pours them out on the face of the earth. He makes it rain. It says the Lord is his name. He 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 can has the rains to ruin the strong and he begins to talk to Amos and give this word unto the people as the creator, as the almighty God. He, he is the higher, highest power. And so then he gives the word of the Lord. He says, uh, you've tread upon the poor and you've gained taxes and, and you have been um, with dirty money and, and filthy lucre. And it says you've planted vineyards, but you will not drink from them and you... Uh, you have fancy houses, but you won't live in them. And it reminded me uh, in this hour, we're not to lay up treasures uh, on earth because th this earth one day will pass away. Heaven and earth will pass away, but his words will not pass away. One day, the, the things of this life that are carnal will pass away. Jesus taught his disciples. He said, lay up for yourselves in heaven, uh, treasures in heaven that thieves can't break in and steal and that uh, rust can't destroy and moths can't destroy. But it is eternal blessings. Lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. Set your sights and affections on things above, on the spirit, because this life is, is like a vapor. It's eternal. But the things in heaven are eternal. So we got to to walk this life as though we're citizens of heaven that we're not fulfilling the lust of this flesh, but we're in uh, seeking uh you know um gain in on this life but we're, we're to win souls we're to uh spread the gospel of the good news we're to um give to others and live our life as a sacrifice unto god that it lays up treasures in heaven and so he jesus is ministering here the word of the lord uh, to amos is about um how they uh divert the poor and how they're they're perverting justice and he says here in amos 5 and 13 for it is an evil time and it reminded me of how in the new testament paul warned us that there would be a falling away uh, that there would be prayerless times, an evil time, dangerous times. And how that Isaiah said that there would be a time that they call evil good and good evil. But the warning of the Lord here from Amos, uh, from the Lord through Amos, was seek good and not evil that you may live. And I, that really began to minister to me. And so I, I began to think about how we seek good and not evil. And he said, run from evil, cleave to that which is good. It reminded me of Proverbs 3, and it says, Forget not what I have taught you. Store my commandments in your heart. If you do, do this, you will live in many years, and your life will be satisfying. It says, uh, To be loyal and, and to have kindness. 
Let, uh, tie them about your neck in justice and mercy. As a, re, as a reminder, write them deep in your heart that you will find favor with God and with people, that you will earn a good reputation. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding, because we're living in a time that we can't le lean on our own understanding, but it takes wisdom and discernment and the Spirit of God to guide and lead us into all truth and all righteousness. It says, um, seek His will and in, in all you do, and He will show you which path to take. Don't uh, impress with your own wisdom. See, the, the, the Bible you know, they were following their own wisdom and their own way and self-works by serving these idols and, and not trusting in God. And it says that, uh, Paul says, we have no confidence in the New Testament, <clears throat> excuse me, in the flesh. And here it says, don't depend upon your own wisdom. Fear the Lord, turn away from evil, and you will have healing for your body and strength for your bones. Honor the Lord. With all your heart, uh, it says that in everything you do will be productive. And then it says he will fill your barns with grain and your vats will overflow with wine. And don't, don't reject the Lord's discipline and don't be upset when he corrects you. For whom the Lord loves, the Lord corrects. So the Lord is correcting uh, his sons and daughters in this hour and the Lord is warning us and speaking to us and he is molding and making us as we come under that call of repentance and that call of prayer and going back to the ordinance of God and seeking him because the Lord has a remnant in the earth that that are uh, pressing in and that's going to be his voice and his ambassadors that walk in his ways and his statues that that uh, run from evil and cleave to that which is good and so um seek good and not evil that you may live and so um i begin this uh, this is part one there's going to be a part two because my video is about to end uh here in just a minute so um I want to uh, encourage you that um, 